Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Little Big Man and welcome back to the January Transfer Window Roundup. Um, so I guess we'll start with the biggest story. Um, I just, literally, as I was gathering the notes, was mentioned by Romano, and that is that the Botman deal is now off. Um, fuck. <laughs> um, uh, Lille are saying he's untouchable, but his future will be discussed in the summer. They're obviously wanting to finish the season with Botman, and um, obviously try and keep him for the knockout stages of the Champions League, as he is an important player for them, which is understandable. But it is just a shame, obviously, being on the other side of it. So yeah, Botman deal is is off the table now, um, which is also what the Athletic was actually. That's what I was going to mention with the Athletic actually. That the Botman deal was declining. But yeah, now it's off the table, so that's fucking great. Um, however, we have got backup plans. Um, we've got, obviously, Issa Diop uh, for 11 mil. Seems to be um, a bit of a backup option. However, West Ham are in a bit of a comfortable position, so they could try and opt for more money from us with him, I think, contract expiring in 2023. And he also has that option for an, a one-year extension. So we probably will have to go in for a little bit more money. Um, obviously, I, I also had from the Chronicle that 45 mil for Botman was... They were, fuck's sake. Um, new targets uh, reported by OneFootball is that Ibrahim Sangare from uh, PSV and Benoit Badish, Badia Shell, Apologies, I've butchered that. Uh, from Monaco are now uh, options for defensive midfield. Um with uh, a loan for Umtiti being the backup option. Um, now, th Wolves have been trying to put in a, a 30 million euro offer for Benoit. However, um, there seems to be no luck with that. So obviously that does give us the option to go in with maybe a 30, 35 million euro offer. Um, we'll have to see how that progresses. Uh, and Genie Wijnaldum loan to buy option um, is being prepared by Newcastle, which would be great, as um, obviously if we can bring him into the club, fantastic signing, he was great when we had him, he's a hard worker, so I'd love to have him, especially someone of quality, because as much as I do value hard workers, we need some fucking quality, um, and also um, about the Luca Dini deal, he looks set to join Aston Villa, so yeah, I guess Tagliafico being the backup will now be the number one option for left back. Um, obviously, there was also reports about Chris Wood now being our a targeted, our like top target for signing. Um, obviously, with the tactic of crossing the fucking ball in. However, obviously, like I mentioned yesterday, Burnley will probably not look to sell him, especially to a relegation rival. But uh, yeah, so obviously the big big news is the Botman deal is now off. So backup options are going to have to be made. Diego Carlos. Uh, Obviously, there will no doubt be progression with that in the next couple of days, whether it's progression for us to sign him or in the sense that, you know, the deal's off. So there'll be there'll be steps taken towards in the next couple of days. But that is ex obviously extremely bad news for us because we do need a good centre-back. Whether we're going from in the summer, I don't know. We could maybe get, like, the untitted loan till the end of the season and then push for Botman. I don't know. It's up to the owners, the scouting team, the coaching team for Eddie Howe to sort. But yeah, that's going to do for that. Um, be sure to leave in the comments your thoughts on any other rumours I've mentioned or any other rumours that I haven't mentioned. Um, and be sure to leave a like if you're as good as I am about the Botman deal. <laughs> uh, but yeah, subscribers, I am going to be putting these out for most days in January. Thank you very much for watching and adios.